public speaking. All right, here we go. A walk and talk camel style, sort of, except I'm not showing my face. I don't know, do you want to see my face? Probably not. Anyway, yeah, uh, camel style walk and talk. Go and check out Kimmel's uh, channel. Uh, link is below. So, here we go, Games Workshop. I'm on my way to the sneaker club. Got my sneaker queue here. It's a bit windy, actually. There you go. Hopefully the uh, sound will come out. So, Games Workshop. Difficult one, this, but... How to start. Okay, so... I know all about Games Workshop and I'm certainly no fool. Um, no, nearly 15 years I've been playing Games Workshops and stuff, 40k, uh, buying all their equipment and stuff, and I know that um, I've been taken for a penny or two um, as such. But, but, do they really, are they really that bad? To be fair, I mean, they've got a lot of bad videos, a lot of bad press lately. And, I don't know, do they deserve it? I mean, I'm sure a lot of people think they do. And, you know, obviously there's a lot of companies around uh, because of the recent uh, law change as uh, such, um, who have obviously had to withdraw selling stuff and that. And I know they've got obviously a different point of view from my point of view. I mean, from my point of view is just a gamer, I'm just a hobbyist. Um, I'm pretty loyal to Games Workshop, to be honest with you. I mean, apart from my paintbrushes, which I no longer buy from them, just because they don't last. Um, and super glue, I don't buy super glue from them because it's just there. It's just super glue with their label on. But everything else I buy from them. Um, all my paints and everything. I know the paints are expensive, but I still buy from them. You know, I want my models painted. Games Workshop stuff. I, I want them to be, you know, uh, well, it's just just me. I'm just being fussy there. But I am. Um, I'm just looking at it from a business point of view because business is hard nowadays. It's, um, especially running shops. I mean, look at Jessup's just gone. And okay, Peter James have just bought the bought the name and everything. They're coming back again, but. You know, previously, it's so hard to make a profit in retail nowadays. And I don't know what sort of markup uh, GW has on their model kits. Um, obviously, class of luxury item. Well, I'm in the retail trade, I sell luxury items. And there's a big misconception that because it's a luxury item, it's got a high ticket price, you're actually making loads and loads of profit. Um, reality is that the, the margin on that sort of stuff isn't that great. It's, it's actually quite difficult to make a, a profit on some of this stuff. I mean, I'm not saying going to workshop um, is making no profit because I think we all know that they are. But yeah, you know, it's tough. It is tough. And I just sort of look at it from the point of view of I've been doing the hobby for 15 years, near, near enough. Um, had an awesome amount of enjoyment from it. Um, pretty much every day I get some pleasure from it in the hobby. And I pay a premium maybe for that, but I look at it from a different point of view. I mean, just imagine, um, as opposed to buying all the models of stuff that I've bought, just imagine that I go out every weekend, you know, having a sort of drink, um, clubbing, all that sort of stuff, you know, that people do at the weekends. Spend 50 quid, say, going out one weekend. Well, I spent 50 quid, say, on a model. Got that model for the rest of my life to play with. What happens if Games Workshop just go bust, goes bankrupt? What are we going to do then? Uh, Hopefully it's not too much of a ramble this. It's the first time really I've done this sort of video. And I've just put my thoughts uh, here and there together without any pre-planning really. So, what about this bits scenario then? Okay, so no, nobody can break up boxes and sell bits and stuff anymore. Well, well, as long as Games Workshop, I've got to start selling the bits themselves. Then it doesn't really bother me to be honest with you. And I, I don't really buy online. Um, I always support my local 
Games Workshop or my local gaming shop. I have two in my area. So yeah, I just don't bother to going online at all. Just wait for this person to go past. Does that look a bit weird? Uh, so yeah, so it doesn't really bother me, uh, to be honest with you. Um, will Games Workshop sell bits? I hope so. I would imagine that's the plan behind it. Um, but yeah, for me, GW done a fantastic job the last couple of years, uh, especially 6th six, six edition coming out. I think they've done an awesome job on the rule book. Um, it's a bit more fairer now, I think, especially with the new codexes that are coming out. Nothing seems to be too overpowered as such. And um, I think they've actually done quite a good job. I mean, okay, they're trying to get every penny they can. Like I said, uh, times are hard and you know, if they, that's what they need to do, that's what they need to do. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure they're not ripping us off that much. I mean, they're doing what they can to make the most of their selling opportunities. Which is no different than I would do in my shop. Um, you know, I'll sell something and then, you know, I might sell an add-on item, which, you know, yeah, the person will need that add-on item, but I'm using that as an opportunity to make some more money, you know. Um, and that's what sales is about, so I can't really blame them for sort of making the most of their opportunities. And if we don't want to buy it, we don't have to buy it. Um, I'm going to stop here, I need to blow my nose. So yeah, we don't, I mean, we don't have to buy it. I mean, there's lots of alternatives. Okay, there's other gaming systems, but I mean, if you want to stick to 40k or fantasy, whatever. I mean, obviously there's, there's eBay, there's kit bashing buying second-hand models from your local gaming stores and um, you know, exchanging Barter Town, I think Americans have Barter Town. So, I mean, there's, there are lots of options available if you, if you don't want to spend the cash. Um, and of course we all have birthdays, I mean, if you can't afford to buy a box every month then, you know, just, just ask for money for your birthday and, you know, okay, you might be slower getting your armies up together, but no, it's gonna happen. Just bide your time. You know, so you stand in models, etc. So I don't think there's too much of an issue, really. To be fair. So that's that's what I'm thinking, really. Um, this video is sort of inspired by other videos that I've seen. A lot of people have had opinions, and even Star, I think Star Ragard. He's uh, setting his Necron um, army on fire. He's going to burn it and he's going to um, raffle it off. Um, somebody's actually going to win this burnt Necron army. And he's doing that because, well, had a protest really, spending too much money on Games Workshop. Doesn't want to get his son into the hobby. Um, so he's going to still paint and stuff, but probably change systems, something a bit more reasonably priced and um, that's fair enough not sure that burning your army is gonna gonna you know say much really to be honest with you I, mean, I, I don't see that's gonna get back to games workshop any anyhow but um, you know if that's what you want to do then fair play to you so here we go so I'm gradually getting very close now to sneak club so I've got a game tonight um, just a practice game but should be good fun. So we're doing really well in the league. We're second place at the moment. We're only about six points behind the leaders. So a few more frames to, to scramble back. And uh, you never know, might come first place. Okay, so I think I am here at this new club. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.